So let's consider this particular part. We would like to um, program it from uh, two sides on a rotary axis. So the first step is we need to establish the orientation for the machine tool. So this would be done exactly like what we did earlier. So we established the machine tool uh, coordinate system. Now once you establish that, you would want to go ahead and establish your machine tool definition as four axis and you specify your rotation axis. It could be along X or Y for most machine tools and you choose it a positive or negative X and also you want to make sure you set your rotary center at the center of your part or stock geometry. Now once you have this established, your initial setup which would be your uh, orientation of zero degrees is automatically established and the setup one inherits the orientation of the machine tool coordinates. And you would now program your tool paths. Now you could establish, before you program your tool paths, you could be establishing your stock material. In this particular step, I'm going to just creating a, a box stock in here. And I'll establish the uh, zero, which is the XYZ origin. I could be placing it to the um, highest Z southwest corner right in here. Or I could be establishing to uh, right on the center line of the part. It could be along the west or east. Or I could even just leave it right where it is in the center and in the mid Z as well. So in this particular case, then I wouldn't even have to establish a work zero. If your X, Y, Z origin for machining and the rotation center are going to be right at the same location. Now once this has been established, you would program your tool paths for the top. So I'm going to just go ahead and add a uh, you know, profiling operation in here. I'll profile around the outside edge. I'm going to do a select loop around it. Select the contour on the part. Uh, pick a tool for this process in here and we'll establish the tool pad. So once we have the top half programmed, we would go into setup and create what is called a rotate table setup to index it. Now the rotate table setup allows you to index it and this is being rotated based off of the machine tool coordinate system orientation that you established in here. And you get it or oriented to 90 degrees if you want to do these holes or if you want to just do a flip of 180 degrees you specify the rotation angle as 180 degrees to create it and then you can program your toolpad. So in this particular step the part would be rotated on your rotary axis on the machine tool. When you post-process the tool pad, it'll output the table rotation angle as well. And then you can program your tool pads in here. So I could be programming a similar type of operation like a profiling, or I could be doing a pocketing, or I could be doing any three-axis operation in here. I could, for example, I could use a horizontal finishing operation and generate the tool pad. So once you have these operations programmed, you would select your machining job right mouse button click and then select post all and you can select your post processor from the list in here and I'm just going to go ahead and grab a FANUC post in here specify your folder and your posted code up here so you can see that your A0 appears right at the top it establishes your initial orientation and then you'll find the orientation for setup 2 where you have the A or your rotary axis in this case has to be happens to be the A axis which rotates by 180 degrees and this is how you can create rotate table setups to program index 4 axis operations.